probably the single uh, most misunderstood thing about mycorrhizae is how profoundly important they actually are um, in the natural system. Uh, mycorrhizal fungi are actually the primary means by which 95% of all plants on the planet are supposed to get nutrients and water from the soil. And, you know, and the obvious question that people say, well, then what about the roots? Uh, believe it or not, the actual uh, biological function of the root of most plants, besides physically anchoring the plant, is not to absorb nutrients and water from the soil. That's the function of mycorrhizal fungi. The, the uh, evolutionary uh, history of a, of a root and the origin of a root is it is a specialized tissue of the plant that harbors it's the, the mycorrhizae. It's the attachment site um, and the transfer site for the mycorrhizae that is the primary method to get nutrients and water from the soil. Um, the fact that roots can absorb water and nutrients without mycorrhizae is a backup system that nature put in place in case they should lose their mycorrhizae, but it's really just kind of a temporary get-by system, very inefficient compared to the fungi. Well, I'll start with the first because um, you know, I get asked a lot, well, if mycorrhizae are all over the world and all plants are supposed to have them, why aren't they in ag fields as well as in natural systems? The single biggest reason is fallow. Um, this is nobody's fault. It's not, you know, that growers are doing something terrible. It's, it's a necessity of, of our cropping process, but typically we go fallow between crops for several months and mycorrhizae have to have a living root to survive. Um, this is one thing nature never anticipated was that there would be long periods of you know many acres that were fallow and the way they reproduce is from one another, from adjacent plants. So when we render whether it's no-till or conventional or what you know full-on till farming when you go fallow between crops there are no living roots and the mycorrhizae die and they don't they, they don't blow in the wind they don't fall with the rain um, it takes many many years decades or more for them to naturally replace themselves and so that's how they're lost um, there are other contributing factors uh, none nearly as great as just a simple process of fallow um, you know, mycorrhizae are a fungus, so the use of fungicides, not all, but some fungicides take them out. In uh, probably not so much in uh, commodity crop production, but in some croppings, it's very common to fumigate your, the ground between crops. Obviously, that not only kills the fungi, but kills everything else. Um, compaction. Uh, slows them down. Anything that's going to slow down the bacteria because there are um, complicated manifest symbiotic relationships between the beneficial soil microbes and the mycorrhizae that stimulate them. So compaction, um, use of high NPK fertilizers don't directly hurt the mycorrhizae but they slow down the micro the other microbes that would stimulate the mycorrhizae so those are some of the other uh, situations